Hey, buddy. Crap, how do I do that again? I don't remember, holy shit. Let's take the high ground. Hangar Bay, be aware all magnetic seals are engaged. Remaining flight is accounted for. Trooper, you're late. It's not my fault. I just returned from patrol. Oh, I have to look it up, don't I? Yeah, it's been so long, I completely forgot what the controls are. <laughs> but it hasn't really been that long at all. Oh, was I supposed to wall walk across? Oh, well. I see him, BD. Yeah. 
God, that's so fucking stupid. Stim, please. Attack successful. Okay, this is really stupid. This is stupid. Buddy. The last of them. Open the door. I... I should... What? This is an inspection. You have orders to let me pass. This... This is an inspection. I have orders to let you pass. Apologies for detaining you, sir. I'm sure you'll find everything up to code. Let's hope so. <laughs> Weak minds don't stop them from conquering the galaxy. I guess I don't actually need to go that way then, okay. Let's adjust our aim. Don't fall behind. Need to open this. Very good, buddy. Uh, 
we'll just move on. Okay, this is high. I don't think there's any hidden stuff I need to go back for later on. What have you, though? Long way down, huh? Hell of a view, though. That is true, one hell of a view. Let's stop for a moment. All right, two of them. Rest. Fast travel. No, not fast travel. Shard. Let's trade it at Doma's shop. BD1. Oh, what a view. You'd have liked it, Shanna.
I can't go further right there, so. Ah, oh, can you could have stay away? You don't even say the seas play once has mustered your gums. I guess not. You're the aspect of a fisher lad. And uh, lucky for you, we're perched just above the layer of the sea fish. Sea fish, huh? That's right. An impossible catch. No fisher in the right mind would pursue such a quarrelsome foe. No fisher, but Skiver Stev. Ha <laughs> ha! You see that one? That was pretty impressive. You still think I'm small time, eh? No, I believe. Well, then, I've no choice but to regale you with my bleak most history. Tell me a moment, and I'll tell you a thing or two about old Scuba Stave. So, Scuba, whatever happened with the pirates? So, there we were, far quarren, armed with spears, each way a mind to make a mantelpiece of my wee rubbery head. I looked over to me, Captain, and he stared right back. Waving his arms like a, a goober fish in heat. At the harpoon I held in my hand. Oh, for a black instant, I considered nailing those pirate quarren to the rocks with my harpoon. But something stopped me from pulling the trigger. Perhaps it was the sparkle that caught my eye. The sparkle of a passing glumbrigil. What would those pirates say to a whole school of glumbrigils? A crackle and a sparkle as they be, thought I. So I opened my wee mouth and emitted the mating call of the eel. You speak eel? Aye, but I forgot to turn on me calm. We screamer alone heard the cry. But my demented expression put such a fright on the quarren that they dropped the blasters. By the time they'd come to the senses, we were swimming away as fast as our flippers could carry us. It was only later, as we fled aboard the Zephyr schooner, that I realized how close the real danger was. But I shall continue my tale next time. <laughs> Been down there. <laughs> oh, the smell down here is potent. The lift isn't here. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. Okay, let's head down though, then. Ah! What is that? Acid? Let's keep her distance. Raiders have rigged this place.
stuff is dangerous. We need to be careful with it. Got something? Scour this place for anything of note. If anyone tries to interfere, crush them. That's how I get back up, but we'll find out on the way. Yeah, looks like this is doing work. Okay. the others I don't think we're making it back one of these fuckers. Get the enemy! 
Keep pressuring the door. You look familiar. Jedi! At last, you grace us. I am one of the lucky bases you'll see, I expect. These caves will be your tomb. <laughs> I need a stem, buddy. Fuck. I made it past the first time just fine. On way too fucking okay, fast. Somebody. What the hell? It sure is good to be back online after all those years. I preferred the cold dark of total power. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm not pushing the dodge button at all, apparently, because it's retarded. Buddy! D I... I'm hitting the fucking buttons! What is with this shit game? I hit the button, but nothing happened because it's a retarded game. <laughs> and EA's full of retarded people. I shall ascend. I shall ascend. I shall ascend. I'll check it out.
Too sturdy. Find something? So fucking stupid. Hostile here. Not so fast. I can withstand that. Here, buddy. Here, buddy. Core? Really? They're going all out. Is there not something here for me to grab? 
grab onto. Ironic. We're all the way down here trying to reach through the stars. We all must do our part, Padawan, no matter our place. I suppose. What'd you find? I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. Really, he's down here. Scuba, hey, what's waiting beneath the surface this time? These strange climbs harbor a most mysterious resident, the Visit Lucker. There they love to nestle into the cozier reaches of the sea, but they're need too cozy for Scuba Steph. Nice, I think. Prize 
for your skill in catching them on account of your wee stature. And I uh, might be your right, but you can no more fit a basilisk in a lurker's lair than an oyster in a thimble. Sounds right to me. Could I interest you in a, a tale? Uh, where did we end? Ah, yes. The monstrous Captain Wet, his crew and myself, fled aboard the pirate schooner of the filthy Zephyrs. Well, fast as the morning thaw, I could tell something was off. Wanyak, he wouldn't look me in the eye. Oh, what a dreadful stench was a brew in his rotten beard. An auger of fate most ill. Wanyak took the helm, and with landing claws away, we flew to deep space, putting a few lifetimes between us and those pirates. We found ourselves a field of the Parlemian tree root. As soon as the captain took his hand off the yoke, he put it on his harpoon and gave me a look like a half-starved tuca cat iron sprat. Scurver, snarled the vile captain. You have gone as soft as an oyster's navel. If I could have trust you to spare a quarrel with their blaster in your mouth, I could have trust you to skewer the great goobafish. I am a hesitance to pull the trigger had me undone. In spite of my most rabid pleas, the captain jettisoned wee Scuva in an escape pod. The last thing I saw was his dread smile, crooked like a beeman's backbone. And so, my time aboard the grapnel met a briny end. Sitting alone in a pod, in deep space, with nothing but a tank of old cod and gash. I'll tell you more later, lad. The despair. Oh, the stench. It's enough to set my stomach a churn to this very day. bosses down here. Okay, I'm ready.
Let's show this to Z. This flora is fascinating. I can't figure it out. Perhaps there's something in the satellite laboratory that could help us analyze it.
might be useful. What? Oh no! You see that? started growing after the Republic left. Either way, good for us. Hey, BD, a little help? Thanks, BD. Where is he? Where is Dagon Gera? I don't know. We couldn't find him. But he murdered Jedi. He must answer for his crimes. I understand. You're following your code, and I am following mine. I owe him everything. But you... You, I owe nothing. studying the growths here as well as more research on Kobo matter they really found this whole planet fascinating must have hated having to leave it all behind come on let's go Isn't it a little dark down there for fishing? A true fisher doesn't rely on the sun to do the seeing. A true fisher fishes with the mate. Sink your eyes on this. You're asking yourself, how in the deep did old Scuba know where the fishy was hiding? But what you don't know is that the barbed hookfish always travels northward. How does it know which way's north? Well, you see, uh, it, it, it's equipped with a kind of, uh, to find a bump into it on my way down. But a true 
Fisher knows that a pocket full of luck is more important than some cod migration pattern. Now for a story, if you've the time. So, Scuba, back to your story. Were you actually marooned in deep space by Captain Wet? Aye, lad. There I sat, tummy a rumble, gazing out at the void, my somber reflection staring back from the porthole. Was it ours? Years? Ah, uh, neither would faze me. But I do recall this. After a term most interminable, there she was! Like a, a bowsprit cutting through a crest! The great space whale, still sporting the grapnel's imprint on her side, emerged from a parted void. Aye, even now it brings the salt to my eyes. Her great blubbery undulations tossed me pod through the stars like a goose-winged skiff. The stars swelled about like a hundred thousand fishes, until suddenly I saw a planet below. There my pod crashed, and there I was rescued by kindly locals. I had been saved by this marvelous creature from the depth of space. I tried searching for her. Alas, to no avail. She eluded me for years before I packed my satchel and headed home for Sakavi Tar. Most didn't believe what I'd seen. They say she was not but the terminal spasm of a starving salt's brain. But I know what I saw, lad. I know what I saw. Of course, when I returned home, things were not as I remembered them. But that'd be a tale for another time. Let me guess, more prospecting equipment. Is there anyone on Kobo who isn't digging for scraps? There's something here. Echo's still here. Thank you. 
you're safe and